What else is new that might not make us want to vom? <laughs> the way, way back um, from the, the writers of The Descendants now here, both writing and directing. It's one of those, uh, you've probably seen the trailer, it's one of those, that's the summer that changed everything movies with the proviso that it may actually change everything for the worst. 14-year-old boy goes on holiday with his mum, uh, played by Tony Collette, and her hideous new boyfriend, played by Steve Carell. I'm, I always do this one. Carell. Wrong. Carell, fine, let's say Steve Carell, who is, I have to say, brilliantly ghastly. They arrive at this kind of holiday camp enclave where all the adults behave like children whilst the children look on in sort of disgust and horror. Finally, he finds solace by going off on his bike to the Water Whiz Water Park, where he is befriended by fast-talking Sam Rockwell. Here's a clip. Water Whiz Water Park, built in the summer of 83, is the last bastion of everything that time period it stood for. In fact, it was decreed by its creator that this place shall never age. <laughs> On his deathbed, he said, I don't want this place repainted or updated. I don't even want it brought up to code. The minute someone tries, it needs to be destroyed. They actually have a nuclear bomb for just such an occasion. Bought it off the Russians. Really? You still good with all that? Even the Russian thing? That's Cold War. It's kind of dated. All right, thanks. That was wasted a bit. Hey. Hey. Some kid threw up their crazy tube. What? Why is this the first I'm hearing of this? Damn it, woman. Caitlin Duncan, Tony Mary Beth. Hi, Duncan. Also, I need you to reorder more mats. Did it. Finish the work schedule for next week. Did it. Change all the filters. Done. Right. So you know I'm going to check all that stuff, right? Oh, well, in that case, I didn't do any of that. Right, so I'm doing it. It's called delegation, baby. I read about it in the book about it. That's the one you wait for, my man. Oh, yeah. See, she looked back. She likes me. Sam Rockwell is very funny and he's a very good actor and he's a very nice screen presence. And the thing with The Way Way Back, I saw it actually quite a few weeks ago now and I didn't go in expecting anything at all. And it was one of those, oh, that's surprisingly charming and funny. It does a very interesting thing about doing the role reversals between the kids and the adults, that the adults behave in a way which is completely irresponsible and the kids are oddly more mature than them. It also has that strange kind of nostalgic thing about the water park. You remember that um, Dire Straits song? Um, is it called Tunnel of Love? Yeah. And he says that thing about it looks so pretty like the Spanish city. Remember that? Mm -hmm. The Spanish city was a... I'm not expecting you to quote Dire Straits at me, but yes. No, but well, because I, I love that song partly because it's in An Officer and a Gentleman, but partly because it has that line about something looking like the Spanish city did to me when we were kids. Because the Spanish city was this small little amusement park. It's Whitley Bay Way, isn't it? Which I've been to. And I have a great nostalgia for those kind of slightly run down amusement parks. And there is the film does that difficult thing of capturing that idea of this kind of slightly run down, fading, battered... I don't think it was Tunnel of Love, by the way. Yeah, it is. No, I've got the lyrics running in my head. But Girl, I it looks so pretty to me like it always did. It is Tunnel of Love. Is it it is. Away? And the Tunnel of Love. It is. Sorry, don't come dire straits trivia with me. That's Tunnel of Love. Which one of us is the Radio 2 DJ? I think that'll be me. Ka-ching, you've been so pwned. Um, well, forgive me if my dire straits knowledge is not right up there with you, Mr. M.O.R. You're working for Radio 2 and you're, you're calling me Mr. M.O.R. Lord of M.O.R. When was the last time you played any comsats? Long time ago, Never I think. ever played it. No, in fact, yes yesterday you played Neil Diamond, and I'm M.O.R. No, we didn't play it. We came close to playing Neil Diamond, but it ended up as... Playing the, the Boomtown Rats, a big problem. Said, but I did see Mark Knopfler play over the summer. Yeah, well, Mark Knopfler came on this show. Mark Knopfler is a friend of which time. Anyway, if I can get back to the film review, which was the important thing, so... Well, I don't think so. It I'd does that thing about capturing that strange, slightly faded nostalgia and of creating this... You know this this amusement park world in which anything is possible. It also does the rites of passage stuff rather well. It's got a soft heart, but it also has slightly spiky edges. The adults are played brilliantly. Tony Collette is absolutely fantastic. I mean, really, really sort of edgy and odd, and you know, and and out of whack. Uh, Maya Rudolph is terrific. Uh, Sam Rockwell, as I said, all the way through, consistently funny. And it just it did that thing about just kind of creeping up on you in a in a slow and slightly unexpected way. A coming-of-age comedy with funny sort of widgety edges that you think it's going to be maybe OK. I'm not crazy about some of these performers. And then 25, 30 minutes into it, you think this is shaping up into a much better movie than I thought. And by an hour over, I was grinning like a loon and thinking, I'm really enjoying this. I mean, it's not world-changing. It's not earth-shattering. It's not dark enough for some people. But in a week in which pain and gain is out, it is the light veritably shining out of heaven above. I smiled. I laughed. I liked the characters. And in the end, when... You know, when the when the denouement sort of finally happens, I thought, I, you know, I have been uplifted in the right way. Not perfect, but really sweet and funny.